Hi, I'm Jim Garrity of National Review, creator of the Morning Jolt newsletter. And to all of my readers, listeners, and viewers, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Hanukkah. And uh, let's see, starting as of December 26th, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Boxing Day, and uh, let me just make sure Eid and Diwali are later in the year, so we're good on that front. A recent survey from public policy polling found that 44% of Americans believe that Santa Claus is a Democrat, and only 29% believe that he is a Republican. Now, there are two ways we can react to a headline such as this. We can act uh, outraged and say, how could this be? This is a uh, terrible politicization of Christmas. Uh, Santa Claus is this beloved apolitical figure uh, that kids love all around the world, and, and we really shouldn't be dragging him into partisan politics. Or we can just kind of look at the evidence. Now, you think about it. Santa Claus is old. He is male. He is usually depicted as white. And he's married. So just on those four demographic indicators alone, we have a pretty good idea of how he would vote. And what's more, uh, he is also a Christian. He is Saint Nick. He is not lapsed Nick. So one more indicator pushing him in the direction of one particular party. Now, uh, there's more than that, though. You think about Santa Claus. He is an employer of a fairly large multinational organization distributing toys. Um, in fact, you think about it, he built that. Uh, and his distribution system of the sleigh and the reindeer doesn't even need to use all the roads and bridges that are really paid for by taxpayers. His profits come in the form of milk and cookies. So I think we can assume that he's not really a fan of Michelle Obama's healthy eating initiative. Now, who does Santa Claus employ? The little people. And if you're naughty, what does he leave you? A lump of coal. So I guess we can conclude he doesn't really have any serious objection to fossil fuels. In fact, to think about it, you add up all the naughty kids in the world, and all the lumps of coal that we were required to give them their uh, appropriate uh, findings on Christmas morning, uh, even under a generous definition of who's naughty and who's nice, this would still make Santa Claus the second largest distributor of coal in the entire world after the Xinhua Energy Company in China. Now you think about it, what's more, his business also depends on domesticated reindeer. So I think we can safely say he does not agree with PETA or any of the other animal rights groups. And finally, I don't know about you, but I see a bit of a libertarian streak in Santa. Do you really think the Occupational Safety and Hazard Administration would be okay with an uncovered sleigh flying through the air as his primary uh, transport for his business? Or how about the Federal Aviation Administration, how they would react to hearing that his aircraft's lone, lone navigation light comes from the nose of his reindeer, particularly in foggy conditions? Add it all up, and I think we know exactly how Santa would be coming down on the political spectrum. And we haven't even gotten to, into how Obamacare would affect the dental practice of Herbie the Elf. But no matter what you believe, I hope you have a wonderful new year. And in a few months, we can all get together to talk about other topics, like how the Easter Bunny would reform Social Security.